he's learning how to produce, which I like. Here's Bob in Houston, and he's with us here on Mad Dog Unleashed. Robert, good afternoon. How are you today, pal? What do you have for me? How are you there, Russo? Fine, Bob. What's up? Hey, just uh, that that was what a great call in by uh, Jay Wright. I mean, uh, I'm I'm not a huge basketball fan. And I'll tell you, man, wh- those guys are almost gone out of the uh, the basketball coaching. I mean, he, what a what a stand up. Yeah, he's a stand up. He's a, he's a, he's I, again. Let's you know, he doesn't need the praise from me, but he is such a down to earth human being. He really is. This guy just won a second championship. Uh, you know, in three years, he's now at the pedestal of the sport. I mean, you can make an argument. He's right there with Shashevsky, right there with um, with Roy. Remember now, he's got two. Self's got one. Calipari's got one. Beheim's got one. Izzo's got one. Jay's got two. And, uh, you know, he picks up the phone. Now, listen, we emailed him last night. He didn't have to call. He just got off a plane, San Antonio, and he checks in. Ah, a hell of a job. Give him credit. Uh, I can't say enough about him. Go ahead. What else you got for me today, Robert? No, just very impressive, very impressive. And uh, happy to see that baseball has finally started. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. And the Astros are flying right now. Good to see them. Two things on baseball. I'm glad you brought it up. Good call. Uh, Two things on baseball from last night. Let me get a couple things on my mind. I'd be a little worried about Jansen if I was the Dodgers. He gave up a home run on Saturday to Joe Panik. No, Friday night to Joe Panik in the ninth inning um, in a 0-0 game. That was Friday. And then last night in the bottom of the ninth with two out, nobody on, Dodgers six, Diamondbacks three. Game five, the Dodgers are two and two. He walks Goldschmidt. He walks the next hitter. I don't know who it was. First and second, no uh, two out. And then he gives up a three-run homer to tie the game. And the Dodgers end up losing the game in the 15th inning. 89 miles an hour. Now, he pitched an awful lot last year. He pitched a lot in the postseason. I'd be a little worried about Jansen. Yeah, no, he didn't pitch that many games in spring training. I think he'd like pitch two games. But I'd be a little worried about Jansen right now if I was a Dodger fan. Because that, that was not a, um, you know, a, they need him in a worse way to be very, very good. So I'd be concerned there. I'll tell you right now, the Astros are flying. Their pitching is so good. I mean, they got Charlie Morton as their fifth starter right now. And, you know, Charlie Morton as a fifth starter, I mean, you can't do any better than that. I mean, Morton last year... Against the Yankees in Game 7 was great. He was obviously wonderful at the end of Game 7 against the Dodgers in the World Series. And Morton last night's their fifth starter with Keiko Verlander. Garrett Cole pitched a two-hitter in his first game. And McCullers. I mean, the Astros are very, very good. Boy, oh boy. Houston is a hell of a team. So that was the second thing I wanted to say. They've off to a very, very good start. We keep an eye on Houston. So Houston and the Dodgers, the two teams that we see here, uh, are somewhat interesting, you know, and the, and the Red Sox have done a nice job. Red Sox have gotten very good pitching. Even in the first game with Sale, the Red Sox have gotten excellent starting pitching. I mean, they, they have won four in a row. They lost the first game because of their bullpen. They blew a 4 nothing lead. But overall, the Red Sox have done very well with their starters right out of the gate and at four up and one down. Baseball, we continue. Nine in front of, 11 in front of the hour on a busy program here on Mad Dog Unleashed to Sirius XM82. Returning after this. 